Okay, so hi everyone. This is uh, Marcus back again, and I actually had a request to um, do some grading uh, for you, uh, especially uh, grading the uh, Fujifilm log, video log, um, in DaVinci Resolve. So that's basically what I'm going to show you. I'm just going to drag some footage in, um, and this is a flat um, footage that I shot with a GFX 100S internally um, and yeah I'm gonna show you guys how I normally work with it so I uh, need to put it down on a timeline uh, right there and I go to color so I told you guys a little bit about this in a previous video but um, the general thing that I always do is that I use this uh, color space transform um, effect and I put it on there and I actually, for, for this um, particular clip, I don't really uh, use an input color space. I just uh, use the timeline and input gamma, same there. Output, though, I go to the Arri Alexa and I set it up as Arri Log C. So that um, actually flattens it uh, significantly. So if I turn it on and off, you can see that the whole image becomes really 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 super flat then I'm gonna create a couple more nodes it's actually good to uh, have uh, a little bit of hygiene um, on these nodes because it's um, all of a sudden you you sort of make something that you're super happy with and you're not really sure what you did and then you want to be able to go back and sort of um, <laughs> reverse engineer what the hell you were doing in the first place uh, at least I uh, I use DaVinci like that it's not I'm not a trained DaVinci colorist or anything I just like play around with it and and see what happens so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, um, a 3d LUT uh, Ari Alexa log C to rec 709 and it leaves us with um, a rather um, you know, low contrasty, low color uh, image, but uh, it's it's actually not so bad uh, to work with. So uh, I'm gonna go over to my next node, and uh, in this particular case, I'm gonna work with the contrast. So I'm just gonna enhance the contrast in the shot. I will go down and just pull the highlights down a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna deepen the shadows a little bit and yeah I mean I don't like like o over contrast the images um, then I'm gonna go to my next one and I'm just gonna bump up the um, saturation quite a lot so I'm just turning it up. I'm, I'm using my my mini deck, whatever it's called, the Black Magic. Uh, I'm really fond of that thing because you know, you, I, instead of going in into parameters like like these ones, contrast, pivot, saturation, and so on, I I, I just use my little knobs and wheels, and and it's very intuitive. I think I think it's really worth the investment um, to have one of these if you grade a lot because it becomes more joyful and intuitive and I, I enjoy it a lot so for the overall saturation I'm gonna leave it like like that and I'm gonna go over to my next note uh, let me just name these real quick cool so now I'm gonna use I mean there are many ways to dial in the the um, I liked I like the curves in terms just like put a little like mid curve adjustment to the general exposure because when you pull down the curves you also intensify the um, the colors so the saturation will be more rich uh, as a comparison to just like like you know pulling down the general exposure so I kinda like this as a method to dial in the correct exposure but you could also like you know go in with the wheels with these wheels and uh, just like pull down uh, you know different aspects of the the exposure like mids and highlights and uh, all that kind of stuff 
but I like to use the curves. I, I think it's really great. Um, something that I, I find myself doing a lot, um, I think this image is looking pretty awesome, by the way. I mean, this is just um, no real like tweaks to skin tones or individual colors. I haven't even adjusted the white balance, to be honest. Um, just gonna play around with it a little bit because I know my screen is pretty warm. Um, I'm using the built-in screen of the iMac Pro, um, and it's it tends to be a little bit warm when I watch it on uh, like my iPhone or other screens. So that's why I I generally like to make my footage feel a little bit colder than I actually want it to be. Screens are different, brightness of things are different. So um, you have to think about where is this going to be shown. And most of the stuff I make is going to be shown on people's tablets or iPhones or laptops. So um, that's what I'm um, aiming for. I'm not aiming for television or a big screen or anything like that. I just want it to look okay when I watch it in my iPhone, then it's going to look okay everywhere. Moving on. Okay, so what we're doing. Yes, um, white balance. I was cooling it down a little bit. Um, I prefer to have it a little green compared to having it a little magenta. But um, obviously the best scenario is neither. <laughs> it's just to have a nice looking image that looks natural. I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, well, well, since you guys can't really see what I'm doing, <laughs> I'm, I'm using my little balls, um, my little bally things on the mini deck to adjust. You, you can see, probably see this little guy moving here, uh, the mid-tone uh, colors. I'm just uh, pulling in a little bit of warmth uh, towards the yellow. Um, and I mean, one really powerful tool uh, that I like to work with is actually uh, these guys, like under the the um, the curves, uh, hue versus hue. For instance, if I just go in and tap on my skin, I get a, a pretty decent um, um, a, a selection of skin tones and. I can do some little tweaks and I move over to hue versus saturation, do the same thing like forehead. Um, I might want to add a little bit of saturation to my skin. And I could actually do like, just pick my hat as well. And I want that to be like less, less saturated. Yeah. And obviously the luminosity, same thing. Um, I'm just gonna go in and see what happens if I, it doesn't really affect anything, does it? I need to stretch it out a little bit. I can't see that it's really making that big of a difference, to be honest. No, it's, it's not really making a big, huge difference. You can t tell on my hand that it's making a little bit of a difference, but it's, it's not making a huge difference. And also like this, this one, um, the luminosity versus saturation, it's always nice to like pull down the saturation in, in the shadows, I think. Um, if we turn this node on and off now, it's, it's pretty subtle what it does. Um, I just think it creates, you know, a more interesting picture if, if the, the highlights are more saturated um, than the dark parts of the picture. And um, yeah, I kind of like using that as, um, and, and obviously, I mean, if you go into this footage um, and, and look at it, it, we don't really have a huge um, problem with noise. To be honest, uh, it's it's one of the cleanest 4K images that I have worked with straight out of the camera. I, I have to say I'm very, very, very impressed by the level of noise in the background um, dark areas because I've worked with so many cameras uh, and this is not even a film camera. Uh, I mean, I didn't even buy it to, to shoot video with it. I just happened to try out the video feature. I was like, 
where's the noise? I mean, there's no filter on this. It's it's pretty awesome. Uh, and the detail is also obviously pretty awesome. I mean, this sensor is great, um, especially for stills, but I can tell you it's uh, also pretty great for video. So um, yeah, that's, um, that's how I would normally grade uh, footage. If I had a lot of time and a bigger budget, I would probably uh, make a correction layer and, you know, just for the hell of it, uh, go down and put frames three, better, uh, medium, uh, temporal threshold 10, um, like that, just to add a little noise cleaning up anyway. I'm just gonna, you know, we can look, we can look in the, in the full window and I'm gonna turn it off and turn it on. This is a really heavy process even for my computer. It's, it takes a lot of, um, it takes a lot of uh, power, um, but you know, it just makes it uh, generally a little bit more softer and cinematic, even if it doesn't really affect, I mean, there's so little noise in this image, I can barely see the difference. I can see a little bit of a difference like underneath the, the, the light in the background, um, when I turn it on, now it's on and now it's off. But I mean, generally things just become a little bit softer and more organic, I think. Um, so that's why I like to use it. But when you render, it's, it's gonna take like 10 times longer. So if you have the time, put it on. If you don't, um, just get rid of it. So that's it guys, um, I don't want to drag this out uh, for too long, um, as I said in the beginning I had a request to show how I use uh, the um, um, the footage that came straight out of the Fujifilm uh, GFX100S camera uh, internal recording with the Fujifilm log setting uh, and how I grade that. So um, and that's, um, that's all for today, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you guys later. Bye.